Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we start off chapter 2 in a police station after finding Snow White's head very conveniently and unfortunately left on the steps of the Woodland Departments. Uh, after Crane broke us out, we got back to the departments and basically caught Bluebeard interrogating Tweedledee. Uh, we intervened and basically started being more nice to him and he was... I don't want to say compliant, but he started giving up some stuff, saying that uh, he was looking something. He was looking for something that Faith owned. Um, she was a thief that stole from her boss. He knows beauty very well, and pretty much right in the middle of the interrogation, Snow White walks in, and that was the end of the episode. Crazy stuff. What the fuck is going on? So let's continue on. Smoke and Mirrors. This guy's still sleeping. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I did I control myself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Uh, you really scared us. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean... That's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We keep working. We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my uh, problems? No. Because that's what my job is right now! That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Myself. Right. Okay. So, kid gloves are on.
TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. What's up, Buffkin? Buffkin? Do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Um... Ooh, new tarot cards. Okay. Pity these can't solve murders. Well, that's appropriate. So, three of swords. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking for. Antacids. Antacids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Low presto. Perfume bottle. Snow's perfume. Uh, I think I'm going to talk to the... What was his name? Randy? TJ. I don't know where I got Randy from. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry. No harm done. Right, Bigby? What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? All right, kid gloves, kid gloves. We got this. It's okay. You okay? Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You weren't in trouble. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Take your time. Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. It's my job. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! It's dangerous out there! If You're someone not in saw you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me. But, but someone said, stop laughing. 
and then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> you can go. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. Good job. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. In a minute. When you're ready. Let's see if we can talk to the mirror. Can we find out what he was looking at? Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Yeah. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, did he know that Snow was alive? Oh, I guess we can't. Show me the woodsman. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. <laughs> well, that's helpful. Yeah. <coughs> Show me Tweedledum. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. Great help. Thank you so much. All right. What are you looking at? Oh. Okay. Let's go talk to Snow. Check out this body. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. Witching well chamber. Is everything just in the woodland building? Let me move faster. Yeah. seen her face before now. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Okay. So let's check out the head first. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. 
Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Yeah. Brooch. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Okay. Is there something new about this? She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Yeah, I was gonna say. Anything else? Do you see that? Could be a bruise. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I noticed this earlier. The rope marks. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. What are those track marks? Look like track vampire marks. bites. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. See, that's kind of interesting, like having black market like magic to basically make you look like someone else, I guess. But if that's the case, then why wouldn't everyone just basically use the black market glamour? Like, who cares if you look exactly like the person or not? It's, you know, as long as you're not looking like a like Toad, for example, why doesn't he use black market magic? Even if he doesn't look like anyone specifically, at least he's not looking like a three-foot toad, you know? Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Wow. Uh, pry it open. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Lilac petals, okay. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? I need to open her coat. Snow, I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. It's not you. It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. 
I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Her glamour is imperfect. Her glamour is defective. Oh. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Okay. What's here? Perfume. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I guess this actually might be about Snow. Unless it was just purely meant to, like, fool us. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You it's may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, I mean, it's pretty easy. Come on, there we go. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Okay, so the hair is obviously snows. Is that it's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Calm down. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's... Her sister, Lily. Oh. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge it's of this investigation. Snow. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Even if it is dangerous, as long as she's in me, we should be able to keep her safe. Okay, and I think we're going to stop there. Um, interesting turn of events. Uh, who would have thought that, uh, you know, someone used the glamour to hide... Uh, well, I mean, I say hide the troll's identity, but even then, we don't know what the fuck is going on. All we know is the body was meant to be disposed of by dropping it in the in the river or lake or wherever wherever TJ was. 
How fortuitous that he was there at the time, eh? So you have to wonder why why this whole thing happened to begin with. Someone used cheap magic to hide the troll's identity and made them look like snow and left them on our front doorstep. You know, is it basically someone taunting us, saying, like, I'm getting away with this shit. You know, not only did I commit a murder by killing this troll, but I made this person look like, you know, someone you actually care about. Pretty bold, if that's what they're going for. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see how the story goes. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.